Hello again. So we're at Georgetown Liquor Company. Thomas just came from the bar. He got me a Moscow Mule. This is the cutest thing ever. It has a little porthole in it. We ordered uh, the Three Little Picks, which is mini corn dogs as an appetizer. And then I got the vegan frack. And Thomas, what did you get? I got the, the vegan Darth Rubin. The vegan Darth Rubin. We always order the same things when we come here. Uh, so this place is actually all vegetarian, but most of the items can be made vegan. Not all. There's a few things at the camp, but yeah. So, should be good. They have some very cool, very nerdy um, names of sandwiches. I got the Bojizafa IPA, which it won like best IPA in its oh, region or something. What's it called? The Bodhisattva. It's made by I think Georgetown. Did you already taste it? Brewing. Not yet. I've had it I've had it before, but it's it's really good. Um, it's very hoppy right at the start. Uh, oh they're playing um, Yeah, they're playing Death Proof. Yeah. On the TVs. Yeah, that's another cool thing about this bar is that they always play really nerdy or sometimes like campy cult type movies like Death Proof is on right now. We've been here and uh, it's the dance scene. Uh, uh, and we, we've been here before where they were playing like Alien or R good. Robocop. Um, yeah. They do a lot of local artists in here. Oh. And um, right now they have an exhibition of a bunch of paintings. I don't know, I haven't gotten a chance to see who the artist is, but they look amazing. They look really, really nice. They're very inspiring actually. It kind of makes me want to paint again. So the, the Aardvark ketchup is really good. I don't know if you've ever had Aardvark. Secret, the secret aardvark sauce. It's made in Portland. It's like habanero, so it's a little spicy. It does, it does hit you with the heat, but uh, the flavor is actually really, really awesome once the heat kind of goes away. Yeah, I totally recommend it. Our food came, and it's my vegan frack. They do have vegan cheese here, so if you order the vegetarian version of this, um, it's supposed to come with a primrose brie. I ordered it with the side of salsa and chips, as I'm sure you can see. You can get side salad for an upcharge. Um, there's a house soup that Thomas got that he'll show you in just a second. It's delicious. The food here is usually good. Usually it's like one person working the bar and maybe one person in the kitchen. I'm not really sure how many people are back, but it, but it seems like one. So they have a slim staff, um, but if you go to the bar, if you're not getting attention, they generally take good care of you. We've always had great service. Yeah, like we came in kind of late and it's a, it's a dark and stormy night. And uh, I don't know that each team even saw us come in, so I just sent Thomas up to the bar, but the service was pretty good, pretty fast. I got the Darth Rubin with the side of uh, split pea soup, which is kind of hard to see without dumping out. Uh, it's pretty good because, like, normally with, I, I found that soups, like, split pea soup always requires more salt and pepper, but this one comes with a little bit of spice to it, which is good. And the Darth Rubin is, like Ty said earlier, like we get the same thing every time we come here. And it's one of my absolute favorites. And I, I've had a lot of vegan Rubens and this is one of the best ones. This place is great. It's, it's not, okay, the bathroom is like a dive. I was gonna say, it's not like a dive bar. It's a little on the divey side, especially if you need to use the restroom. Um, but I've heard complaints because like the chips are obviously straight out of a bag. Whatever, they're good. The salsa is good. The sandwich, however, is really good. Apricot chutney. That's all I have to say. Like that really makes the sandwich. You can see here it's got field roast, it's got tomatoes, it's got vegan cheese, it's got greens. But the apple chutney, or sorry, the apricot chutney is the reason that I always order this. It's just so flavorful, it's so good, it really makes a sandwich. And they have really great bread. So like, whatever they lack in fresh chips, they absolutely make up for it and the bread is always delicious. Like, Thomas had a really nice marble dry. This ciabatta, it's always really good, really fresh. I don't know where they get their bread, but it's a really good place to come check out. It's just kind of over here, right next 
just the railroad tracks. Um, there's not really much else around. Like the Georgetown bars are a little bit further up. It's just kind of on its own on the corner over here. But very good. Highly recommend. Yeah.